Hi, my name is Patrick Donovan. I'm a head cross country coach at St. Francis High School. This is my 14th season as coach of the team, and I am also employed full-time at the school as its director of security and facilities. I'm a 2003 graduate of St. Francis, after which I attended Elizabethtown College in Pennsylvania, where I competed in cross country, indoor, and outdoor track and field before coming back to St. Francis to teach English and coach. While this normally would have been a live presentation on campus and would have included a question and answer period, I want to give you an overview of our program and hopefully answer any questions you may have. If there's something that I do not cover or something that you're curious about, please do not hesitate to reach out to me via email. My email address will be included at the end of this presentation. Right now, our cross country team is in the midst of training for a possible late January to March season. This is not typical, and obviously we are doing everything possible to train safely in the hopes of competing this year. However, it is my sincere hope that by next year, things will be returning to some normalcy, so my remarks will be directed at what to expect in normal times. What is cross country? Cross country is typically a fall sport and consists of where runners from two or more teams compete against each other and are timed individually, but scored as a team. St. Francis competes in the always competitive Mission League against Alamany, Chaminade, Crespi, Harvard-Westlake, Loyola, and Notre Dame. There are two levels of competition at the league level, JV and Varsity. Most cross-country courses are around three miles, though we may run one or two two-mile races during the season. In addition to competing against other schools in the Mission League, we attend invitational races on weekends that hundreds of schools from all over the state and sometimes even out of state compete. For example, we typically attend the Mount Sac Invitational, which hosts hundreds of schools and thousands of runners over two days of competition, and it's billed as the world's largest cross-country meet. We have two levels of competition, JV and varsity. That division only really exists on race days. The varsity team will consist of the fastest seven runners on the team, regardless of grade level, and all of the other athletes will compete at the JV level. That top seven can change throughout the season as we train as a single team day in and day out. Cross country is one of the few sports on campus where all four grade levels are together daily. One of the added benefits of this is that it allows for athletes to be encouraged by veteran upperclassmen on a daily basis. As far as training, we begin training for our fall season in late June to prepare for the competitive season, which occurs from September through mid-November. We typically practice at 6 to 7.30 a.m. over the summer, which allows for us to run before the summer heat and makes, uh, makes it unbearable and allows for athletes to attend summer school after practice concludes. During the school year, we transition to afternoon practices from 3 to 5 p.m. with races occurring either midweek afternoons or Saturdays. Cross country is a no-cut sport and athletes of all abilities are welcomed and encouraged. Because competitions have both an individual and team component, every athlete on the team will compete in most of the races throughout the season. That does not occur in most sports. As we sometimes joke, only in cross country is it true that the slower you are, the more playing time you get. Our training runs vary in distance and intensity, and some of the veteran athletes may do long runs up to 10 to 12 miles and log 50 to 60 miles per week. However, the training program is graduated and tailored to each runner's ability level, and a newer runner may be building up to a six to seven mile long run while logging 20 to 25 miles per week. Regardless of ability, athletes will have an opportunity to improve their times and performances as the season progresses and can gauge their progress. For example, in a typical season, we will run two to three races and a preseason time trial at our home course for Santa Valley Park. This allows athletes to track their improvement on the same course during the three month season. While some of the varsity athletes may be trying to shave 20 to 30 seconds off their time, novice, novice athletes may improve their time three to five minutes. Normally I talk about a recently completed season, but because of our competitive season for 2020-2021 has not yet begun, I would like to mention our 2019 season. The varsity team had a phenomenal season placing second in the Mission League and 10th in the CIF Southern Section Division IV Finals, narrowly missing a bid to the CIF State Championships. Additionally, we won our races at both the Mount Sac and Bell Jeff Invitationals, two of the most prestigious meets in Southern California. We're looking forward to hopefully continuing on the successes of our last season and building for the years to come. Thank you for watching my presentation, and I look forward to meeting with both parents and athletes in the months to come. 
Please do not hesitate to reach out to me if you have any questions about the cross country program. I can be reached at pdonovan at sfhs.net. Please stay safe out there and God bless.